I'm going to show you guys how to make it into a compound path. So basically, if you're beginning at this, you don't really know what that is. So when I upload it and it shows like this in Design Space, that's all one compound path. When I upload it and it's all separate pieces, like if you have a big SVG that's got like, you know, 15 different colors, you're going to have to go and ungroup and select color groups and weld them. And so instead, when it's just one color, that, that's pretty easy, just not a big deal. But it is when you have a bunch of different colors, it could take a while. So it's pretty easy. When you have your color selected, let's say there's a whole bunch, you want to go to select, you know, same fill stroke. And instead of going and clicking, just clicking that Unite button, because that Unite button does group them, but you'll be here. Okay, with them all selected, just hit Control-8. And then if you watch up here, it changes there. So see how it says that it's grouped, Control-8, now it's a compound path. So I'm just dragging it here. So if I click this one, if I click any of them, it's going to drag it around. And before it was, when I click on that one, it doesn't. That's the direct selection tool. If I hit the group, you know, the, this one right here, the, just the regular one, it'll still move. But the direct one, that's how you know it's not a compound path. So I did Control-8. It's just a shortcut key. It's all now a compound path. So now when you go to, you know, save an SSVG, when you go to upload it, it'll all be that one right there.